Guys, so Brian, you got the white whale. What's it feel like? We're excited, but now, you know, it's like the Adriana Grande. It's so next, you know, <laughs> thank you, next. And so the next would be uh, how do we continue to look to, to maintain what we have on the field and, and with this roster or reinforce it in other ways that might present themselves via free agency or trade over time or waiver claims or minor league six-year free agents. So it's a long time between now and August 31st, but we're excited about the group we have assembled already. I think something that resonated with a lot of people is the fact that he kept that sign from when he was 11 years old. Did you know that he had kept the sign, and were you impressed with the amount of Yankee history? History that he knew I had no idea he had the sign uh, still in possession uh, and the one thing I'm not sure if yes picked up or not but being up on the podium when he was putting on that uniform he started getting emotional uh, and you know and so that was I mean I know how much this means to him even more so by watching you know that play out a little bit but then he maintained his poise and he was able to regroup himself but uh, it's obviously it's a long dream coming for him since he was a little little boy Brian over the last couple of years as you've built this team you've been very methodical uh, you've stayed away from that big market purchase and free agency you've made smart trades this time you went all in why this guy well I mean we've we've I think we've gone out all in all in on various options and it's just opportunities that present themselves and and how we kind of value that individual at, at in that time and place so so you know we've We've constantly been around in uh, the big game side of it. We played on some big things last year, uh, but then, you know, we pivoted and did a lot of different other things, you know, which was LeMahieu and Britain, and, you know, uh, we traded for Paxton and, and uh, you know, uh, Badovino and so. So, anyway, I just... I think we try to navigate the opportunities that present themselves and then try to, strategi to strategically make the best decisions we possibly can with the amount that we have available, which our ownership has always been great at and certainly more than, than most uh, you know, cities across the land. But, uh, you know, but in this case, you know, we felt like, wow, if you know, this was a, you know, a rare opportunity. I mean, he, he's a very unique, gifted individual. Uh, that doesn't present themselves in free agency very often. So, so I would liken it to a CC or liken it to a Mike Messina. You know, uh, so when they do present themselves, yeah, you do go all in if you can. You mentioned the fact you signed Cole. Now it's all about what's next. So what's next? What do you see as though this roster still needs? I don't know if it. I'm not going to say it needs anything per se. Uh, like we're really excited about the group that we have, uh, and so it's more about being open-minded and listening to what's available via free agency and or trade uh, what shows up on the waiver wire or, or the minor league six or free agent side of it and you know you know we have a lot of depth and coverage in a lot of areas which we'll need and you saw how it paid dividends for us last season when we had all these injuries so um we'll see i mean there's you know i, I feel like we're ready if opening day was here to the, tomorrow we'd be comfortable with what we're doing and how we've uh, positioned ourselves but you know uh, it's not pencils down at any time until again august 31st so we'll just have to wait and see and, and navigate you know the opportunities as they come you're not going to show us your hand because that's not what you do and i wouldn't expect you to are you cool though with dd signing with the phillies of having glaber torres be your everyday shortstop or are you investigating other opportunities there yeah i mean certainly uh you know, we we had to decide uh where to reinvest or invest our you know remaining uh, flexibility and uh, unfortunately you know in in the case for DD we had more coverage on the infield side you know, obviously clearly with Glaber Torres showing what he could do for us at uh, at shortstop in April May and June and then obviously seeing how Estrada played and having Tyler Wade here available as well and, and we have a young guy named Kyle Holder pushing up in the mix too down below as a great defensive wizard so we had more coverage and reinforcement internally that we can turn to and obviously not even speaking to the rest of the infield with you know the coverage at third with uh, with the guys we have there second and and so then the outfield so obviously trying to finish off and we haven't officially done it yet with uh, with uh, bringing back uh, Brett Gardner but but obviously trying to reinforce the outfield issues with the injuries to Hicks and stuff that was more of an area of focus outfield front line of the rotation and that was going to take up a lot more of our financial flexibility than then unfortunately trying to compete in, uh, in the marketplace for someone as good and talented as Didi. Austin Romine also gone. Do you feel as though you've seen enough from Kyle Higashioka that he could be the everyday backup catcher? And also, what type of growth would you like to see from Gary Sanchez this year? Well, I mean, uh, I think Gary Sanchez is one of the best catchers in the game of baseball. Um, I thought last year reinforced that. Uh, so we're really excited that, you know, he continues to, to maintain the everyday status as our catcher. And then uh, and then we think Kyle Higashioka is ready. We thought he was ready uh, uh, last year and beyond. But uh, he's going to get the opportunity as of right now. The season starts tomorrow. He'll be our backup catcher. 
pitcher, and, and we have no qualms about that. Pitchers love throwing to him. Uh, he's a lethal bat against left-handed pitching. He can really, you know, pop pop one pretty deep, uh, you know, uh, uh, so he's a nice threat against left-handers. So, so we're very comfortable with his receiving skills and uh, and especially the bat against left-handers. And um, So he's earned the right to be our backup. Doesn't mean that we're not open-minded to other options and other opportunities, but more likely than not, you know, I think uh, the catching tandem, the focus is going to be more about what's the insurance policy is waiting at AAA. Do you uh, have any desire to still be involved with Dylan Batances, who's still out there? It's a great. He's been a great Yankee, and uh, so I've stayed in contact with Jim Murray, and, and um, you know we'll see if that that you know opportunity uh, you know presents itself for us or not over the course of time. So I you know I can't say we're out on anything, but I, I know that we loved everything that Dellen's provided. You know from his signing out of the amateur world, the local kid coming up and being an amazing, talented, and impactful elite reliever and then um to now free agency so so we'll see we'll stay in touch it doesn't you know we love our bullpen as is uh we don't feel like there's anything we have to do further but that doesn't mean that going an extra mile to try to further reinforce isn't going to be into our be benefit at the same time it's just it's a competitive market and you don't know where that's going to lead and um and so we'll stay engaged final thing now you find out that garrett did have that sign it's been in his closet. He loves the Yankees. You think, I could have gotten him for minimum wage. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a very expensive sign, right? The first thing I thought when he started showing the sign, I was like, that's a very expensive sign. So, uh, you know, you're smart to keep that uh, that quiet and in the closet for until the press conference. So, um, you know, obviously we stepped up, the Steinbrenner stepped up, and we're looking for uh, it to pay off for our fans in a big way. Merry Christmas, Brian. You too. All right, that's Brian Cashman, Yankee GM. So